This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to go over how to calculate cerebral perfusion pressure. And if you would like extra problems on how to calculate the cerebral perfusion pressure, you can access the quiz at the end of this video. So let's get started. First let's start out talking about what is cerebral perfusion pressure. It is the amount of pressure required to get a sufficient amount of blood to the brain. Hence, it maintains cerebral blood flow. And we need a proper perfusion pressure of at least 60 to 100 millimeters of mercury. This is the normal range where we want our patients because this helps us maintain life and maintain proper blood flow to that brain so we don't have ischemia. So how do we solve for cerebral perfusion pressure? Well, to do that, you want to remember this formula. So I would commit this to memory. It says cerebral perfusion pressure is equal to the MAP, which is the mean arterial pressure, minus the ICP, which is the intracranial pressure. Now, the MAP, the mean arterial pressure, is the amount of pressure in a person's arteries during one cardiac cycle. And a normal MAP is anywhere between 70 to 100 millimeters of mercury. And intracranial pressure, of course, is the pressure within that skull. And a normal intracranial pressure is between 5 to 15 millimeters of mercury. So to solve for this, we have to know two things. We have to know the patient's blood pressure, and we have to know their intracranial pressure reading. So what we'll do first is we will figure out the mean arterial pressure because we already know our intracranial pressure. It's 13, so we can go ahead and just plug it up there. So let's solve for the MAP. Okay, to do that, you have to remember this formula. MAP is equal to the diastolic blood pressure times two plus the systolic blood pressure divided by three. Then you plug it in and work it out. Okay, so our diastolic, it's the bottom number, is 72. So 72 times two equals 144. Then we're gonna take 144 and add it to the systolic blood pressure, which is the top number, and it's 108. So 144 plus 108 is 252. Then we're gonna take 252 and divide it by three. So 252 divided by three equals 84. So our MAP, our mean arterial pressure is 84. Now it's super easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our numbers. So MAP was 84. So 84 minus 13, the intracranial pressure, equals 71. So our cerebral perfusion pressure is 71. And is this normal? Yes, it is in, within normal limits. Anything less than 60 would be bad, means that we have some brain ischemia going on. And if you notice, as the mean arterial pressure starts to decrease to the intracranial pressure, become equal with it, we will start to lose cerebral perfusion pressure. So it's important that we maintain a proper mean arterial pressure to maintain cerebral perfusion pressure. Okay, so that is how you calculate cerebral perfusion pressure. And don't forget to take the quiz at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.